Having installed through Crypt, I'm now going to demonstrate how to create a volume. A volume is the encrypted container into which we will eventually place all the files we want to secure. So I open TrueCrypt and I choose the Create Volume option. This brings up the TrueCrypt Volume Creation Wizard. And in the first uh, screen, I'm going to leave everything as default. So I press the Next button. The next stage of the creation process is to specify the name of the volume and where it will reside. In my case, I'm going to call it onneutral.tc. I'm going to place it in the My Documents folder. You may recall from previous tutorial that by default, TrueCrypt associates the .tc extension with itself. If I do not enter the extension, TrueCrypt will not automatically add it itself. This is a security facility which allows you to have volumes that are not associated directly with TrueCrypt. The next stage of the volume creation process is to specify how the container will be encrypted. TrueCrypt provides a number of encryption algorithms you may use to encrypt your volume with, and as you choose each algorithm, you get a short description about it. You have, besides the encryption algorithm, a number of buttons that allow you to test that the algorithms work well with your computer. And the benchmark button allows you to look at how each encryption algorithm will perform. And when I click the benchmark button in this window, I get the transfer rate associated with each algorithm on the computer I am installing the volume on. The larger the transfer rate, that is the larger the number, the more efficient the speed of that volume. I also have the hash algorithm TrueCrypt will use with my volume. If I need more information about any of the options available, I can click the hyperlink and TrueCrypt will open the relevant section in its documentation. For example, here, I want to know about hash algorithm. Click that, and I'm shown the information relative to the option I sought more information on. The next item of information I need to specify is the size of my volume. The container, once created, cannot be resized, and in the event that you need to increase its size, you would have to create a new container, transfer all the files from the old container to the new one, and then wipe out the old container. So it is important when selecting or when specifying the volume size that you allow for growth. The wizard now takes me to a screen into which I will type the password that will allow access to my container. The password should be a secure one, an easy to break password, password of a partner, of a child, of a pet, will render the volume easy to hack into. Passwords should be long, in fact, TrueCrypt recommends uh, a password with a length of more than 20 characters and should be made up of a mix of numbers, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, and symbols such as the at sign, the pound sign, the equal sign, etc. Since I'm entering a password less than 20 characters in length, I get prompt telling me that my password can be broken into 
using brute force. In my case, I'm going to ignore that message and proceed to the next screen of the creation wizard. The final screen in the volume creation wizard is that into which you specify the file system for your container. There are two file systems you can choose from, these being FAT and NTFS. FAT is associated with MS-DOS and the first versions of Windows, while NTFS is the file system natively used by Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 2003. Many removable devices, such as pen drives, use the FAT file system because it requires less overhead and dismounts quicker than NTFS. Once I've selected the file system, click the format button and wait until your volume is created. 